Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So looks like we might potentially have a grease deal this morning. Uh, as of recording, I'm seeing lots of uh, uh, updates coming through from um, Eurozone leaders saying that they are a, a potential deal. And uh, most global equity markets are up maybe about 1%, 1 and a bit percent. See the US there, it actually opened up um, slightly down this morning, but then shot right back up towards the top end of the range right now. That news is filtering in. 17,747 was a potential resistance broken through that, but looks to be capped at 21 period SMA. And we don't have 100% confirmation of that deal as of yet, but I'm sure it'll come through shortly as uh, most markets are rallying quite hard at the moment, especially the UK 100. So it does look like something is maybe. Uh, going to come out very shortly. So three uh, three days of advancing gains right there, back up to 67.71, which is great. Uh, that also um, is a, a relative important potential resistance level. We're in between two moving averages right now, bullish cross on the um, MACD, and we're still relatively neutral for the RSI and slow stochastic. So that means there's still way, way further to go. Obviously, if there is a deal that uh, has been reached. So looking at Japan, 25, struggling, seems to be struggling to break through 20,087 and that 55 period. SMA. Other technicals relatively neutral with the MACD histogram showing a slowing down in the downwards momentum, uh, which we might get another cross through that zero line at some point soon. Um, but it does look slightly caged at the moment. Moving on to dollar yen, uh, so people have been buying the US dollar again, again a gap lower this morning, but it's now trading towards the top end of its range, uh, which also would be 21 period SMA. It's trading above 55 period SMA. It broke through 121.87 last week. Uh, we've got 124.42 as longer term potential resistance, but we're a good bit away from that just now. We've almost got a bullish cross on the MACD, whereas the other technicals are also quite neutral. But uh, dollar yen needs to get above that 21 period SMA soon. So West Texas crude is, uh, is still dropping as an Iranian deal looks more and more likely as time goes on. Um, we're actually at 51.50 right now, which is quite a low point considering we we're almost at $60 not that long ago. Long legged candles uh, are indicative of around about $51. There's, there has been interest, but it's actually 49.39. That's um, that's got the uh, support from back in April 2015. So that's a level to look out for. Now we are already off the session lows, as if we do get a, a deal from uh, from Greece. Um, that would be obviously good for uh, West Texas crude. And China has been recovering uh, today as well. It's the third day in a row it's had gains of up about 3% for the Shanghai index. Um, as China has actually started to uh, arrest aggressive short sellers. Um, but I'll be interested to see if that pans out for the rest of the week. So looking at gold, gold still, again, not really doing a huge amounts. Still trading below both moving averages. A lot of technicals are still pretty neutral. 1137 is long-term yeah, I mean, potential support. There's not a huge amount of economic data today. Though the uh, the trade balance data from uh, from China was actually not so bad. Um, fast forward on tomorrow, CPI and PPI data and RPI for the UK. Um, we've got uh, Eurozone industrial production and retail sales, and hopefully we'll have that uh, that, that great deal sorted out today. If we finish up with uh, Euro dollar and cable, uh, Euro dollar just trading above one spot eleven at the moment, trading above both moving averages. Got a bullish cross on the MACD. Um, and on our day chart, it's spiking up a little bit, but it's not gone completely crazy. Uh, but certainly, if we stay above these moving averages, then one spot fourteen seventy five would be the next potential target price, especially if there is a great deal, it depends on how strong the US dollar gets. And if you have a look at GBP USD, it's moving up nicely one towards one spot 56. We're not there just now. We're trading above the 55 period SMA uh, with everything else looking okay. And we've almost got a, a bullish cross appearing in the MACD. It's not happened as of yet, but it could happen at some point soon. Uh, we were probably in the middle of a slight downtrend there. If I actually get my drawing tool out here, uh, you could probably just draw this, uh, I'm not drawing that one very well, instantly, but you can almost see it right there. Again, not drawing it on exactly as I would like, um, but that kind of gives you a bit of an idea of where a sloping downwards trend line might currently be. So, keep you on the chart form, guys. Make insights part of the leg going forward. If there is an increased deal on there, uh, when that begin gets confirmed, it'll be on insights. Uh, and I think we're all pretty much ready to, to, to go. Uh, very, very close. As the breaking news is pretty, pretty much coming through just now, unanimous agreement on Greek bailout. It has, in fact, 
uh, kind of gone through now. And the, the, the markets aren't reacting ridiculously strong to it. They are up a little bit now, but we'll see how things pan out towards the end of the session. So, as ever, join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.